always tracking, always alerting. Storm Team 8. Well, the past, what, three days, this is the second day we've had rain. It's a good thing because we're going to enter a dry stretch, warming stretch heading into the weekend. You got to like that timing. And right now, though, we're still seeing the back edge of that uh, shower and thunderstorm, at least lines of shower and thunderstorms move eastward, moving out of our viewing area. It doesn't mean we're done with the rain yet, though. You can see the clouds are lingering in many locations. We're starting to see a few breaks develop, especially in around the Muskegon area and points to the north. Right now, though, Storm Track Live Radar, you can see that solid band of showers and thunderstorms that rumbled through here earlier this morning with just a little bit of hail here and there, nothing severe, just uh, for the most part putting in a little bit of uh, rain in the rain gauge. And now on the back side of it, the air mass that's moving in behind the front, along with the surface uh, trough moving in, still could trigger an isolated shower, a thunderstorm, I should say, scattered, in which we're starting to see right now in and around the Nuego area, uh, northeast quadrant of Hart County, northwest part of uh, into Nuego, just south of the Croton Hardy Dam area, and also around Kent City, Sparta location, Casnovia, Ashland area, a few spotty showers up there towards Rockford. But the bulk of the solid rain now is with that line that continues to advance to the east, just moving out of Battle Creek and also the Charlotte area, drying out towards Kalamazoo, Paw Paw, and also South Haven and Holland. Now, in terms of that rain, the forecast models actually did pretty good with it. Uh, we picked up just under a half an inch of rain in Grand Rapids, Holland, the highest amounts, uh, which they were kind of latching on to up around uh, the Ludington area, which came in at uh, almost an inch there. What's triggering this line of showers and thunderstorms? Well, usually it's a cold front. That was the case or is the case currently as it continues to advance to the east. But you can see even on the back side of it, there's some unstable air, so it's not perfectly sunny, which sometimes happens with the passage of a cold front. A 63 degree rain cool there in Grand Rapids, 68 Big Rapids, 63 in South Bend. And you can see behind that cold front and also with those showers out there, temperatures are cooling off. Uh, we're about 12 degrees colder right now compared to yesterday at the same time in Grand Rapids and four degrees cooler in Muskegon. Notice the kink right through here in the wind barbs. Well, that represents the cold front, breezy wind out there, which is gonna gradually die down later on tonight and we'll see a slight breeze tomorrow pick up once we see some sunshine now here's for the rest of the afternoon you can see again spotty showers and isolated thunderstorm is still possible during the afternoon even into the early evening hours then after that i think we're going to dry things out so if you have evening plans out there really most of us will stay dry with partial sunshine and for the rest of the night we'll head towards a clear sky with high pressure building in and once it does it's going to lead to a really nice weather pattern monday or actually Friday right on through this upcoming weekend. So mostly sunny conditions for Friday. And it looks like even in the Saturday that's going to hold on and a warming trend at the same time. In terms of that severe weather threat today, it's very low, marginal, uh, one out of five from basically just north of Grand Rapids up towards Greenville, Holland, southward. So we'll keep an eye on that radar for you this afternoon. Eight day forecast, well, here's the highlight right on through the weekend. Still a little on the cool and breezy side tomorrow, but at least we get the sunshine, which will continue rolling forward through that eight day forecast. Really, after today, not much rain in sight at all. None that we have on the eight day. Great, uh, nice soaking like, yeah. and then let's move on. And then all nice weather. Yeah. I'm here for it. Thanks, Matt.